Hey, Robert Reno here. I'm gonna show you how to make the lightweight silk iron-on cover. This just came in. This is from Thai Silks. And this is a beautiful, light, light, lightweight, super sheer, but strong uh, fabric. So I'm working in the lab slash kitchen this morning because my wife works at the hospital today. I have an old mirror here. Uh, and I simply cut a piece of the fabric so that I have plenty of space all around the edges of it. And I'm laying it out here to try to get it evenly spaced. I also have, believe it or not, that is a clean paint tray and a very short nap roller on it and just a little bit of water on the inside. So I'm going to take not too much, just a little bit of water and I'm going to start rolling it from the inside working my way out and you'll see it impregnate the silk. I'm going to try to work all the wrinkles out of it all the way to the outside edge. And I don't need it soaking wet, I just needed it damp. So what I will actually do is go back over this with a um, paper towel and lightly blot it in a minute. I'll also kind of pull and stretch with my hands a little bit to see if I can't get a little more stretch out of the fabric. The more now, the more it'll work for you later. So I literally will just take it and you'll be able to see your uh, little wrinkles happen as you pull this out to the edges. So this is what I'm using actually um, as my dope. It's Parks Polyurethane water-based uh, floor finish. We'll move this out of the way. This isn't being used. And I'm going to take it full strength and just put a little bit into the pan. Okay, starting again just like the water, I'm going to be in the middle. And I'm simply going to start putting this on. And I will roll and brush it out to the outside edges. Not brush, roll. And what I'm trying to do, I'm, I'm stippling it. Going back over the same area to make sure that the polyurethane gets all the way down into the weave of the fabric. And we'll just do the whole sheet like this and then move on to the next step. While this is still wet, the poly kind of acts as a soap, and you can see while I'm pulling, I can actually get even a little more stretch out of this. And you kind of, I don't know if the camera shows it, but you can kind of see it coming through the, all the way through the fibers. So you might want to just work it just a little bit to make sure you've got as much stretch as you can out of the fabric, because this is where you'll get it. Next step is my fancy schmancy squeegee. Um, it just happened to have that thing on the back. But anyway, it's just a small window squeegee. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to start in the middle and I'm going to very lightly start squeegeeing this to the outside edge. Now you're not trying to remove material, you're just kind of trying to smooth it out just a little bit. The more you remove here, likely the more you'll have to paint on later so bear that in mind. You don't want the weave to be dry. You just want to make sure that you've got all the wrinkles out and you don't have puddles of material sitting on top of your fabric. So you'll end up with little bits around the edges and I just come in and blot these while I'm working. So I don't have too much material sitting out here on this. Okay, so here it is all wetted out and squeegeed, ready to go. Um, one comment, you'll notice that the fabric actually has a weave to it, or I'm not a weave, but a grain to it. And you will be able to stretch in one direction a lot more than you can in another one. And keep that in mind when you actually cover the model. Um, shorter spans, won't get an opportunity to shrink as much. And so you, for example, this one, it would be tempting for me to put a wing this way on this fabric, but all my stretch is gonna to go to the ends where I have the most room to work and I'll have less stretch this way. So I will actually run the wing this direction and get better stretch 
on the fabric when I'm ironing it on. Okay, so fast forward and we have, uh, it's about two hours and here it is. It's, uh, the stuff is dried off very nicely. There's no more moisture on it anywhere to be seen. So now what we can do is come in here and kind of peel at a corner. And that will just start to peel off very nicely. Don't break your wife's mirror. I'm trying to get a spot where you guys can see, the side that was towards the glass actually has a very glossy finish on it. The other side's matte. So the glossy side, the shiny side, is what you would put towards the model. Last step, roll it up and keep it clean until you're ready to cut it and iron it on. You've just made your own covering. Uh, next video, I'll show you how to put it on. Oh, okay. Last step really is to clean your wife's mirror before she gets home from work.